And look, I've got something to show you. You don't see this in a lot of places. This really is a big exclusive from me here. And uh, I think you might be a little bit shocked to see it, but I must say, I feel very lucky to be here. Look, I am the only person here inside the home of Stranra Stair Park. And let me tell you why. Now it's only three more SPFL clubs to go. I set myself a challenge earlier this year without any games or stadium tours to be able to go to, just to visit the 42 SPFL clubs. I am able to do this uh, because it's my job. That is why I'm able to travel between certain regions of Scotland. Uh, and yeah, what a crazy world that we live in that I even have to say that disclaimer But yeah, I am able to come around and do this because it is my profession and here we are at the home of Stran Ra. I had four clubs left to see after today I now have three Livingston Ross County and Inverness and yes Stran Ra. I've ticked them off Stair Park what a beautiful day for it as well, look at that. And yeah, today is the turn of Stran Ra. I'm visiting the club here, and they are the third oldest club in Scotland and one of the 20 oldest football clubs in the world. Before we get into this video, please do go down to the first link in the description box below and download OneFootball. OneFootball is one of the best apps out there for all the football news that you could ever want. Whether you're a Stran Ra fan or a Barcelona fan or a Liverpool fan or a Man United fan, star your favourite team within the app and get push notifications on goals, match facts, red cards, kickoff times and anything else that you want. You'll literally get updated on all of the latest football news and you won't be out of the loop with anything. And that's kind of what I need to be is not out of the loop. And and I use the app for things like finding out what league Stranra are in. And they are currently in Scottish League 2. They're in the fourth tier of football here in Scotland. And yeah, it is a completely free app to download. So if you do download it, you get a free app buzzing. And I'll be buzzing as well because uh, one football will know that you've downloaded it from my video. They'll be happy and they might want to sponsor my videos again, which means I can make more videos like this that you're watching now that I guess you'll enjoy. Well, I hope you'll enjoy anyway. So yeah, first link in the description box below. Please do download it. Cheers. Anyway, yeah, Stair Park. Let's see what you're all about. This is where the exhibition starts. So here we go, we've got the very first part of the exhibition here and it goes all the way around there to that section over there. And there's all parts in there, which I'm about to show you. But basically, yes, here we have the early history of Stramra. We got record goal scorers, John McCutch McCutcheon with 238 goals, as well as other records and stuff, record victories and nine nil, two nine nilers as well as their um, their honours which they've won, which I'll get into in a bit, but yeah, they've been second division champions, third division champions, they've won the Challenge Cup. And here are their kits from times gone past. They used to have the yellow and black stripes, but eventually settled on the blue, which is what they are now. So as we keep making our way around, yeah, there's just more moments from the club's past. Here they played FC20 in a friendly here. Dutch team, I've seen a few Dutch games for the channel, never FC20. I would love to though. As well as more moments from the past. I think Stran Ra were the first team in Scotland to win a penalty shootout. And uh, yes, just as they kind of got rid of replays in the 80s, early 90s, uh, Stran Ra were the first team to win a cup shootout here in Scotland. Here we go, more kits that they've worn. As we come round now to kind of what the stadium used to look like back in the 70s so that i believe is that stand over there so you can see how it used to look back in 1972 and this is when they played celtic in the cup here in 1972 so just two years after celtic were 
in the European Cup final, five years after they won it as the Lisbon Lions, and two years after they got to the final and were runners-up against Feyenoord, that was in 1970, they played here in 1972 against Strand Ra. And so that's where the exhibition starts, next to the main stand, which we'll come round to in a sec, but here we go, it continues up here. This is when they played Livingston, and the aggregate score was 8-6. And that was to try and reach the Scottish Championship. They were in League One. I think they beat Livingston 8-6 on aggregate. But then I believe they lost to Air United on penalties, I think. Could have got into the Championship, but had to stay in League One. There's a few of the older pictures of their past. But yeah, as I probably mentioned in the intro, they are the third oldest club in Scotland. One of the 20 oldest clubs in world football. So yeah, shows... Uh, Shows what a historic club they are here. And yeah, this is their 150th year, which is why they have this exhibition on, because they should have had certain, you know, activities and they had stuff planned here to do this year at the stadium, but obviously the uh, global pandemic has put a stop to all that. So yes, they now have this exhibit here, which if you're a Stranra fan or if you're in the area of Stranra, you can come down and visit. It's open, I believe, Thursdays, Fridays and Sundays. And, uh, or yeah, just get in contact with the club and find out when it's open. But I'm pretty sure it's Thursdays, Fridays and Sundays. And you can come down and yeah, pay homage to the Stranra teams of old. Look, here they are with the league trophy in 1994 as well as other great moments throughout the club's history. Here's one of the famous teams of the 70s. This is the reserve team that won, as you can see, seven trophies in one season. And here they are where they won the Scottish equivalent version of the Johnson's Paint Trophy. So the EFL Trophy, I think it's now called, or LDV Vans as it was known back in the day. They have won that trophy, that was in the 90s. They won that at Broadwood Stadium. As we keep making our way around, this is when they were Bell's Division Two champions. And look at the crowd that came out in the open tour bus trip around Strand Ra to welcome home the champions. Oh, actually, this team are now in League Two. And I'm just thinking, I've now completed all the League Two clubs. I've got three left, Livingston, Ross County and Inverness. And they're not in League Two, so I know I've done League One. So there you go, I've completed League Two grounds, thanks to Stranra, which is where I am now. And look, what a beautiful setting. Very famous old ground here. It's been around since 1903. And yeah, look, the exhibit continues around here. Through more moments. There they are, scoring against Celtic here at Stair Park in a cup match. And this is a very famous team from 1948. They lost 1-0 against Rangers. And although they lost the game, the Scottish football authorities were so impressed by how the team did that they were invited into the league system and hence why they play in the league to this day. So yeah, one good cup match against Rangers in 1948. I guess when Bill Struth was probably manager of the great Rangers side back then, they did so well that they were so impressed here by, well, the Scottish authorities were so impressed by this team that they were then able to join the league system. And here I am now visiting them, and they're my last League Two team to see. So thanks to that team of 1948, if it wasn't for them, I might not be here now. So there you go. And yeah, there's some great moments that they've had. Although they are now a League Two team, the fourth tier of Scottish football here, in the SPFL, they've still, you know, won trophies and divisions and they've played Celtic and Rangers and they've had some great times here at Stairs Park. <laughs> So yeah, as I walk around the pitch here, you can see what a beautiful day it is. 
And what a classic old stadium this is. Look, you've got like standing sections, seated sections, terracing. What a proper, proper football ground this is. And it has a capacity, depending on who you ask, of around four or 5,000 people. Um, seated, it has a capacity of around 1,500-ish, I think. But yes, it depends on who you ask, what source you go to. But essentially, on a big game, four or 5,000 people could come in here. And look, I've got something to show you. You don't see this in a lot of places. This really is a big exclusive from me here. And uh, I think you might be a little bit shocked to see it, but look, look what this is. Legitimate green grass. And so with the Stranraer Stadium behind me, another extremely welcoming club here in Scotland. Some great people and a fantastic old club with some amazing history. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and you're still watching to this point, I'm guessing you've liked it, so please do hit that like button and download One Football as well. You're really supporting the channel if you do, and subscribe because we've got loads, loads more coming up. I'll leave some videos on screen so you can keep watching my content. But until the next one, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.